Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another video in the Android Car Tablet series. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Overlays, um, which is an awesome app to really uh, help you get more functionality out of your Android tablet, especially the, a tablet that you're setting up to be used as a uh, car tablet. And uh, I'm going to show you why uh, right now. As you see, I have my main uh, car tablet home screen, and I have a Google Music widget right here because that's what I use um, the most is Google Music, but I do use a lot of other things. One of the things I use a lot is Audible because I like to listen to audiobooks while I'm driving. So if I'm listening to Audible, then I would prefer to have an Audible widget there, but you can't have two widgets in the same place, right? Or can you? Now you see I have the Audible widget. And when I'm, if I'm done using that, I may pause that, and then after I pause it, I want it to go away. And there you go, it goes away. Now how did I do that? Well, I did that using the app overlays. Just to show you another really quick example of that, let's open up Torque. And so Torque is open right now, and if I wanted to control my music, I could tap right here, and you'll see the controls show up right there. So those controls are there. I can use those to uh, uh, play or pause or skip my music, and those controls will go away after a second. Again, how did I do that? Well, I did that using overlays. Um, and let's show you how. Let's get out of here. And we're going to go into the app overlays. And you'll see I have torque controls and I have Audible Home. So let's uh, open up Audible Home. So you see when I open it up, there's my overlay that I've created that you saw uh, show up. And it's basically what Overlays does. It allows you to overlay, like it says, a widget. Any widget that uh, any of the apps you have installed, all those widgets are available to you. And so you can create an overlay with those widgets. And so I created that one. We're going to create another one right now, just so I can show you how it works. Um, we're going to click uh, plus, and we're going to call this uh, music app. And we're going to click add overlays. Add your first overlay. Let's go to uh, widget. And... Let's go to music, and I can't remember which one we want, I think the first one, actually wanted the second one, but we'll use this one for now, we can always change it later, um, you can move it wherever you want it, you can save it, uh, you can go into settings and you can make it clickable or not, you can change the background color, the visibility border if you want any of that and so I'm gonna leave it like that we're gonna click save now before we exit out of here I do want to show you these are globals and then you have uh, applications so you can uh, have certain ones show up when a certain application is open such as I have torque added and I have it set to show the uh, music controls you can have certain ones come up with events and then there's also a Tasker plugin, so you can also initiate any of these widgets through a Tasker plugin. And uh, you might have seen two. Let's go back to Globals. Let's go to here real quick. And if you click the plus, you can see you can also add shortcuts or an application shortcut. And then there's also free things that come in. Uh, Part is built into the app, such as weather, clock, battery, so you can have any of those things show as well. But the main use is to have widgets, built-in widgets, show. So now if we go back to the home screen, and I uh, talked to you about using Nova Launcher as the best launcher to use for your Android car tablet. So now using uh, uh, Nova Launcher, if I long press on this, and select edit, I can select a swipe action. So if I click here and go to shortcuts, then overlays has built in shortcuts. So I choose overlays, I choose the music app one we just chose, and I choose toggle. 
And so now you see that's the action. And so now, if I swipe from that, it toggles it. Now you might be saying, well that looks retarded because it doesn't show everything it's supposed to show. Well, if you long press, then you can enable that in the settings of overlays. It allows you to uh, set it up so that you can long press even when you're not in overlays. Anytime the widget shows up, you can long press it to edit it. So we long press it and then we edit it to exactly how we want it to be and then click save. So now it's the right size, now it covers up the Google Music widget uh, that's on our home screen exactly as it should. And when we're done with this widget, you just toggle it off. So that's how overlays works. Um, just a really cool way to allow you to do that. Now the music controls that you saw, um, as are these down here, are through another app called uh, Media Utilities. I'll be talking about that app in a uh, future video. Uh, but as far as overlays goes, that's what you can do with it. You can it allows you to overlay widgets any way you want to. Um, so for just for example, you see I have these widgets on my home screen here. These are part of my home screen, but if I wanted to, I could not have those on my home screen and I could create an overlay that had those and only make those show up when I pressed a button to make them show up from overlays. So just a lot of cool possibilities and really awesome things you can do. Highly recommend overlays as part of your Android car tablet if that functionality looks like something that you would find useful. Anyway, that's going to be uh, it for this video. Uh, check out my channel for all kinds of other Android app uh, videos, uh, tasker tutorials, product reviews, all kinds of awesome things. Um, and make sure you subscribe to this uh, playlist or favorite this playlist so you can keep up with future videos to help you build the perfect Android car tablet. And that's going to be it until next time. So have fun with your Android infotainment system. Thank <laughs> you.